Good afternoon, I'm Sheila Brummer with Siouxland Public Media News. Former President Donald Trump will be in Sioux City tonight to support GOP candidates, including Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds and U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley. Trump is scheduled to take the stage at 7 o'clock at the Sioux Gateway Airport. Also expected to attend former Iowa Governor Terry Branstad, who served as U.S. Ambassador to China in Trump's administration, and former Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker, who grew up in Des Moines. Reynolds and Grassley, who is running for his eighth term in the Senate, are expected to speak along with candidate for State Attorney General Brenna Byrd. Byrd is trying to beat longtime incumbent Tom Miller. A poll last month by the Des Moines Register, Iowa Mediacom, shows Grassley with a 3% lead with likely voters over Democratic challenger Mike Franken of Sioux City. Franken is holding a rally tonight in Des Moines. Democratic candidate for Governor Deidre Dajir will be at Simpson College in Indianola, according to KCCI Television in Des Moines. Top election, law enforcement, and cybersecurity officials in Iowa say they're preparing to protect the election system and voters as they head to the polls through next Tuesday. Stephen Bayance is Iowa's public safety commissioner. He says law enforcement teams are working to prevent any potential physical and digital threat. Bayan says the major issues they've seen so far are related to false information about voting. Please also be mindful of scam artists claiming that you can register your ballot or vote online or over the phone. These fraudsters are attempting to either steal your personal information in order to gain access to your identity or trick you into believing you have already voted. Bayans and Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate urge Iowans to not fall for mis- and disinformation. They say voters should look to local and state election officials for facts about Iowa's election process. And a former Why Not Nebraska teacher accused of propositioning a 14-year-old girl for sex now faces federal charges. The Sioux City Journal reports 39-year-old Andrew Heller of Sergeant Bluff pleaded not guilty in U.S. District Court in Sioux City to single counts of attempted enticement of a minor and attempted human trafficking. His trial is scheduled for next month. Heller was fired from his job teaching social studies. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Sheila Brummer.